because I have another missing assignment. Okay, so, got it. Uh, the grading thing, because I have quite a few questions, guys. If you turn your assignment in the day, it's due, the day we do it in class, you put it back there, it gets graded by Mr. Wong. If you turn it in late, Goodbye. she checks those assignments for the assignments that are due that day. So if you turn in a late assignment, she does not know to flip through your whole workbook to find a late assignment. If you turn in a late assignment, you either gotta leave her a note, leave her a post-it, or leave her book open to that page so she knows what to grade. She's not a mind reader. She can't come in here and say, oh, I turned in an assignment from two weeks ago. I need to flip back and grade it. She will not know. Cool. Okay? So, please, if you're turning in a late assignment, grab a post-it, from right here. Say please grade. Yeah, can you guys not see the post-it? Please grab a post-it. The laser is so much fun. From right here, grab a post-it. But please grade with the page numbers and then put it back there so she knows what to grade. If you have put it back there a couple times and your assignment that you need made up has not been graded, then come bring it to me and I'll do it. Okay, that way we have someone of a process in here to make sure. Okay? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Any questions? No? And then on top of that, when you come and turn in an assignment to me, right? Give it, give it a couple days. If you come and turn it in, that's to be graded. And then that's going to Google Classroom. And then I have to rerun everything. It takes time. It doesn't happen as soon as it gets turned in. So you have to give it a, a couple days. Do you know how much time teachers get in general education classrooms? Like two weeks. You can't turn it in and expect it to be done right away. You know what happens when you go to college? It does not get graded right away. You need to know that you have done your job, you have turned it in, and then you need to wait patiently for the grade to update. I try to update daily, but it's not required of me. I just try to do it. I do it on the best time frame that I can. It's just you should there. Just be patient. Don't expect it to happen like by the end of the day. Any questions? Questions? Sorry. You sure? Yeah. You don't just ask one for fun? Oh, you did. I did, actually. I did, that's how's yours? Yeah. Yeah, for fun? Yeah. How's it? That's right? Yes, sir. You're not being sneaky. No, I am. You're not. Put your phone away? Oh. Put it all the way away. Thank you. All right, so we're going to popcorn read. This is my third cup of coffee today, guys, so just so you know. Yeah. I have lots of energy. Yeah. Lots of energy to keep up with you guys on the meeting. Yep. I should read? Yeah, but you have a lot of energy. No, I, I should read. Do you want to know why? Why? Because you have a lot of energy? No, because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to take away from your guys' opportunities to uh, provide future success for yourself by not ready to read. Okay. Oh, wait, no, I don't do that. I ask you for it to have you guys read because it builds confidence. 
I still need how my interactive from yesterday. Okay. Then we're gonna read this page and then two more. I'm gonna do it with time so I'll help you out when I get to that point, okay? Alright. Alright, page 249. Follow along, please. I'm gonna read the first half and then I'll pop one. Okay? Felix Finn oh, do you guys remember what's going on in the story? Yeah. What's going on? There's two friends. Uh, Antonio and Felix, mm -hmm. and what's going on with them? They're boxers. They're boxers. Okay, and what's going on with them? They're, they're coming what? They're coming across a conflict. And what's the conflict? Yeah, yeah they're two best friends. And they're going to face each other in a huge championship tournament. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. But with I don't to use the word conflict. I know it's not that bad to really good friends, but would there be some tension? Would there be some conflict with them if they have to go into a box? Yes. yes, there would. Yes, there would. This is not even like, see, like, you, hey, like, you go out to play a basketball game, even just as friends, right? There's still a little competitiveness. There's still a little, I want to win. Right, like if I play close to win at the game of basketball, there'd be some, just walk by. Hey, here you come. How you doing, sir, everyone? Uh -huh. It's like, we were, going, we were talking about competition because the characters are fighting each other in a big yeah. boxing match. And I'm like, there'd be some conflict, some tension, right? Yeah. Like even just stepping on a basketball court. Yeah, it's like trash, trash, right? Yeah, there's gonna be some trash. trash. Right, exactly, right? Yeah. It has to be, right? It has to be, or else it's not fun. Thank you, sir. See, there has to be, or else it's just not fun. You heard it from Coach Miller? The wind of Melody on your phone during this. Jeez. Yeah. Else. No, it was regarding the whole class. Jeez. Phil, like there's going to be a conflict now. It's one of these, All right, so, but there's, some ten, there's many emotions in that. So, just that, with that being said, let's see what happens. <laughs> you guys in trouble? Do you want to read? No. Oh, okay. Phoenix finished it for him. Brother, Tony, let's promise something right here, okay? If it's fair, Hermano, I'm for it. Antonio admired the courage of a tugboat pulling a bar five times his bulk weight size. It's fair, Tony. When we get into the ring, it's got to be like we never met. You guys know who Tony is, right? Tony? Antonio. Antonio. Yeah. Tony, for Antonio. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Uh, so it's gotta be like we never met. We gotta be like two heavy strangers that want the same thing and only one can have it. You understand, don't you? See, I know. Oh, smile. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's so jacked up. <laughs> Can you tell me how to say it correctly? Go ahead. No, yeah, I was laughing. Yeah, exactly the way I said C. Can you tell me how to say it correctly? That's so much. All right, sorry you guys had to hear that. That's bullying, I know. <laughs> C, I know. Come on,
one popcorn to popcorn to Two more pages, guys. So, <coughs> but at the point where I think they're going to prepare. 
Just make it up. You really don't know. Just give me one. Train it separately. Yeah. Train separately. Anything on top? Anything else? Else we're gonna do? Has anybody ever competed in an individual sport? No. Has anybody ever listened to some like this is maybe like you have? You just watch. You ever listen to athletes where they talk? Like it's a mentality. They can psych themselves up. They visualize. Like Tiger, like these golfers and whatnot, they can play the whole 18 holes in their head and visualize what they're going to do on each hole. Like it's a mentality, like a mama mentality. Kobe. They visualize. They see the future. They predict in their head what's going to happen. I'm telling you. Break out Stephen Popcorn, please. Take your phone out? Like, did you really take your phone out right after you finished reading? Stephen, you know what? You know what you should really do? Because I know this, like, you do that unintentionally, like, you don't even mean it. Right? Right, Stephen? Yeah. You should check your phone in with me at the beginning of class, and I'll help you break. Not as a punishment or anything like that, I think it would be good. Who do you pop for to?
forgetting to take the paper and oh the one for the bus? Oh my god. That's how dangerous. Actually? I'm just kidding. What do you think? I don't remember the name. You keep forgetting. All the fast things. What do you think? Alright, I'm done. How much is it? I'm gonna get in the last one. The paper is. Is it there that one? Yeah.
You guys are not watching. You don't even have the assignment, so I don't know what you guys are doing on Chromebook. And you guys wonder why I have to have buttons to repeat the same thing. Guys, you don't though, because I still repeat the same thing. And once again, it comes down to a speaker is speaking, so the audience should be doing what? Mm -hmm. Listening. With eyes and ears. Alright, so, getting back to the assignment. So, we already said, found textual evidence. Remember, I read textual evidence, so I put textual evidence in here. The boys continue to run together along. This is the same. Ways that are different, the styles of fighting. When people have the same interests, this is what I know, when people have the same interests, they are usually friends. I infer that Antonio and Felix are really good friends because they enjoy the same interests and hobbies. We took textual evidence, we take what we know, and then we combine them together to make an in inference. To combine them together. Okay? You guys are only today doing four on page 248, six on 249, and nine on page 250. Have I already had to repeat this? You know I have. Here's a button for you guys. The only question that you need to answer are the ones that involve differences. On the assignment, it tells you the question number. Yeah, Stephen, do you have a question? Or are you just stretching? You asked if you can stretch?
might not be able to finish uh, questions six and nine today. Uh, so we don't have time for time for one. Yeah, we don't have to do as much as we can, and then we'll have a little more time for more of that. Or the day after today, I should say. So the people will have to do it.